Hello, welcome to Get Your Mind On. I'm Lori Stos. Well, it's almost 2017, and some of you may be thinking, oh my gosh, I don't want to be talking about 2017 yet. I got so much to do over the next few weeks. That's the last thing on my mind. And others of you may have, have, have a plan for 2017 already and know it's going to be here before we know it. So today we're just going to spend a little bit of time thinking about 2017. I'm going to ask you to, quote, lean into 17. You've heard a lot of that leaning in. I think that came out after the book Lean In came out. Um, But a lot of people have been saying lean in. And I want you to lean into it because I want you to really just start thinking about it. If you haven't put a plan together, you'll be getting to your planning. But I want you to really start thinking about consciously some of the planning that you need to do for 2017. Because mentally, then you'll start preparing yourself for it. So then when uh, January comes, you're not like, oh my gosh, I feel behind already. So I want you to really start thinking about what does 2017 mean for you? There's goals that we set. Now, some of you may be goal setters and others you may not be, Um, but I do want you to kind of think about it categorically. If you really think first about um, maybe five different categories, one, career, what do I want to be doing for my work? Where do I want to be spending my time? Two is my health. What um, maybe in your health category, is your health great? What would you like to improve about your health? Um, Could be, um, you know, everything from working out to eating to whatever that might be for you. Three, finances. Um, How do you feel about your finances and where you're spending your money and what are really your financial goals for 2017? Uh, Four would be um, growth and development. What are the growth and development areas that you want to uh, increase for yourself? That could be anything from learning to uh, your faith, to spirituality, to whatever growth may mean for you. It could be setting a goal outside of your comfort zone of something you might want to accomplish. And fifth would be relationships. What do you want for your relationships? What do they mean to you? Um, Who do you want to be spending time with? And what does that look like? So those five categories kind of cover us a little bit for life. Um, And when we think about those areas that we might want to focus on. So I just find it easy to put those kind of into five little buckets and uh, not don't have to get too detailed if you don't want to. For those of you who like your SMART goals, you can go ahead and set the detail orientation for you. But I first just want you to consciously start thinking about what does that really mean for you and kind of lean into what it means for you and what might be important for you to focus on in 2017. For me, 2017 is a big year. Um, It's a big milestone birthday for me, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, The other thing I've really been thinking about is as now that I've moved back into my business, I'm really thinking about where I want to be spending my time. And I've um, been spending a lot of time consulting in companies, which I love doing, um, my corporate consulting. Um, I've started my book, so hopefully 2017 will uh, be a success for that. Um, If it's published, um, we'll get there. And uh, it's taking more time than I thought, but it's, of course, something that I've been wanting to focus on. And another area has really been about... um, what I can provide for you. So as we think about Get Your Mind On, we have 170 some episodes and I know it's time for a change and kind of an update. Um, I'm doing a few other other things in terms of product promotion types of things that people are asking about um, when they want some uh, career growth and and hiring uh, packets and those kinds of things. So I'm doing some of that, but I really want you, um, I'm gonna ask for your help. Um, For my goal is I really want you to think about what do you want Get Your Mind On to be? I have so many of you who I'm grateful that I've had the opportunity to have you listen to me. I had somebody the other day who said, oh, well, that managing change was great. We just put it on the screen. The 400 employees were watching it all together. So I was like, wow, okay, (laughs) Um, which I was grateful that you could share these messages with others, with your team and your staff and family or whoever else you do. But I want to make sure I can get you what you need so I can help align with those those goals that you might have. So when we think about growth and development, um, we're going to be sending you out a survey um, online and I'm just going to ask for some feedback. Just let me know what you're looking for. I have have access to some great authors and um, would love to have some interviews with them and and expose you to some of their content. Um, I also uh, have can have some different topics that we want to focus focus on. If you want more around the business or management or strengths or whatever it might be, I'm going to just send you a simple survey. If you just take a couple minutes to give us some feedback, I'd really like to focus um, the content on what you want it to be because I would prefer that we have a high um, 
viewer high viewing um, and I want to make sure it meets the needs that you want it to meet so really um, take some time to do that if you don't mind just taking a couple minutes out of your day to help out with that the other area I'm also focusing on is um, strengths is a big piece of my life and the, the foundation for what I do. And so we um, also are creating a strengths momentum site. So if any of you are into strengths, I want to know about that too, because it's going to be a site where you can um, send people to or go yourself there and have more individual management and leadership growth and team growth around the strengths philosophy. So there's a few things on my list to do for 2017 from a business perspective. So uh, of course I have categories of, of everything else. I won't share that all with you today, uh, but I really would appreciate any feedback uh, from you for my goal around how I can meet your needs with Get Your Mind On. For Positive Charge this week, what is 2017 going to mean for you? And two, take some time to think about the goals that you want to achieve in the categories we discussed. Your career? your relationships, your health, your finances, and your growth and development. It's so important for us to think about our year next year and to lean into 2017. You have the opportunity to make it what you want it to be. Thanks for joining us today. And remember to get your mind on.